Prime Minister Martin lived here at the official residence with his wife Sheila for just over two years. Their three grown sons had already left home, and like many residents before them, the household staff became like family. They were wonderful. They'd been there with the Christians, and the staff was very nonpartisan. Like you have in any embassy all over the world, you get a new ambassador and you adopt to him, whether you like his politics or what. Um, honestly, I could not have done without the, the, the fun of the staff. Mrs. Martin relied heavily on the household staff when visiting heads of state came to 24 Sussex for meetings or meals. She recalls one state visit from then President of the United States, George Bush. When the Bushes came, they told Paul to do a lunch for Bush. So we have the security, the American security come. Paul said, well, we'll just do it here at the house. So the Secret Service come, I prowl around, and they say, no, it's too dangerous because of the windows at the dining room looking out. So I said, okay, can I use it for Mrs. Bush? And they said, oh, sure. <laughs> at times, like all of its former occupants, Mrs. Martin found living at 24 challenging. The windows were all drafty, so no matter how much the heater came on, it was freezing. And then in the bathroom off the bedroom at zero, the pipes froze. But she and her husband faced the challenges of an old house with humor. It gets a little drafty here in the wintertime. Okay. Nice hair dryer. 